Hi everyone and welcome back to Beverly Stunning Creations. In today's video I'm bringing you two more DIYs that would work great as gifts for Mother's Day. Just like in previous videos these are inexpensive, easy to make and they turned out beautiful. First up I have this beautiful wall sconce that I made using $2 worth of Dollar Tree items along with other items that I already had at home. Just think about how many of these you can make to give out as gifts. And then next I'll show you how to make this beautiful charger that I created using $2 worth of Dollar Tree items as well. Although I created these DIYs for gift ideas for Mother's Day, you could always recreate these to use in your everyday home decor. So if you like what you see, make sure to thumbs this video up by clicking the like button. Now let's get on to the DIY. Starting out, you'll need one of these Dollar Tree mirrors. Here you see that the white one is slightly larger than the black one. I'm going to use the black one. Remove the mirror from the packaging and then take the mirror completely apart. Remove the sticker from the mirror and clean it. Next you want to put the mirror back inside the frame and then add the back back on. Go ahead and remove the stand from the back because we won't need that anymore. The next step is to glue this voltive onto the mirror. First you want to remove the stickers and make sure that your voltive is completely clean. Now that your voltive is clean, apply really strong glue along with some hot glue to the back of your voltage. Decide where you want to place the voltage on the mirror. You can put it in the center, but I'm going to put mine more towards the bottom of the mirror. Press the voltage down onto the mirror. Hold it in place until the hot glue sets up. The hot glue has set up, so now I'll remove the mirror from the frame. Now I'll set the mirror and voltage aside while the E6000 sets up. Next I'll spray paint this frame silver. The spray paint has completely dried on my frame. Next I'm going to brush on this mixture of glitter and Mod Podge. I had this mixture left over from an earlier DIY. There was still a fair amount of the mixture left over. So I placed the lid back on the container and stored it in the refrigerator. All I had to do was add a little bit more Mod Podge to loosen the mixture up. Now just brush the mixture onto your frame and make sure you get all parts of the frame including the outside. I'll continue to cover the frame with the mixture, let this dry come back and move on to the next step. The mixture is completely dry on the frame. Now I'll brush on the second coating of the mixture. Normally I'd use Mod Podge alone, but since I have some of the mixture left over, I'll just use it. I use a smaller brush this time around to make sure that I got the mixture inside the design. I applied the mixture to a section of the frame and then sprinkled on some glitter. I'll repeat these steps until the frame is covered, but I won't be covering the outside of the frame with the glitter. After I covered the frame with glitter, I let it sit for about 10 minutes and then shook off the excess glitter. Next, I'll use some hairspray to seal the glitter onto the frame and then I'll put it aside to dry. This is the hairspray that I used and I purchased it from Dollar Tree. Now the hairspray is completely dry and you can see that there's no glitter fallout. Now I'm going to put the mirror back inside the frame. I prop the frame up on a candle holder to hold it steady while I replace the back. Once the back was in place, I sealed it with some hot glue. Now would be the time to attach your hook if you have one. If not, you can use the hole that's in the top of the frame to hang it. I made the voltage more decorative 
by adding a row of bling at the top and the bottom of it. And here's what that looks like. Now I'll glue a rhinestone to each corner of the frame. To finish it off, I'll use my BRB technique. And that means I'll glue the square bead onto the bottom of my votive. And then I'll attach my chandelier pendant to the bead. If you decide to do this, make sure to use a really strong glue. As you can see, I'm using E6000. I'm going to let that dry completely before I attach the chandelier pendant to the bead. Make sure that your bead is centered. Apply a piece of tape to hold the bead in place until the glue sets. Now that the glue is set on the bead, I'm going to open the jump ring and attach the chandelier pendant to the bead. Since the bead has letters on it, I'm going to cover them with two rhinestones. Now you're done and here's your beautiful wall sconce. Add a small LED light and let it glow. I have a silver plate charger from Dollar Tree, some polycrylic, some Mod Podge, and some glitter. For this DIY, I'm going to use the polycrylic, but you can use Mod Podge, it'll work just as well. Brush on the polycrylic or Mod Podge. Now sprinkle some glitter on top of your medium. Repeat the same steps until the border of the charger is completely covered. Then put it aside to dry. Once the medium has dried, shake off the excess glitter. Once you're done, your charger should look like this. Put the excess glitter back into the container. Now seal in the glitter by dipping the brush in your medium. If you're using Mod Podge, make sure it's really loose. Soak up a generous amount into the brush and then just pat it on top of the glitter. You don't want to use brush strokes because you might disturb some of the loose glitter on top. So just pat it in place. When you're done covering the glitter, put it aside to dry. Now that the charger is dry, it's time to decorate it. I'm going to start out with these Dollar Tree mirror tiles, and I've already separated them into nine tiles each, and that makes a perfect square. These tiles have adhesive on the back, so I'm just going to remove the back, and then glue four sets of the tiles around my charger. After that, I added four more sets of tiles for a total of eight sets of tiles equally around my charger. Now I'm going to frame each set of tiles with a single strand of bling. I just lined the bling up, cut it, and then glued it in place with hot glue. Here's what it should look like. So I'll cover the remaining squares, come back and go on to the next step. Here you can see that all my squares are trimmed out in bling. So now I'm going to decorate it more with some of the flower bling. 
So I'm going to cut it in individual pieces and then burn off the threads. Next thing I'm going to do is glue one of my flowers directly in the center of the tiles. Make sure that it's centered before the glue dries. I'm going to add a flower to each set of tiles, but I've only added four here. So I'm going to go on to the next step and then finish the charger off camera. The next step is to simply add a flower between each set of tiles. Once you're done adding the flower bling, your charger should look like this. For our final step, we'll add a rhinestone to each flower. Make sure that you glue your rhinestone in the center of the flower. Repeat those steps until every flower has a rhinestone. And here is our completed charger. It turned out bright and beautiful. I put it together with some other Dollar Tree items. And now you have the start to an elegant table setting. If you'd like to see me create a set of candle holders or a vase, to match this charger then please leave a comment below also don't forget to comment your favorite DIY from this video this concludes my video I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please click like and if you made it to the end of this video leave a heart emoji in the comments below alright guys see you next time thanks so much for watching